JapanCast.net is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download at audiblepodcast.com slash japancast. Over 75,000 titles to choose from, including hundreds of Japanese language books. Support us by supporting them. Visit audiblepodcast.com slash japancast today. Welcome to JapanCast.net video episode number seven. I'm Paul Griswold. And I'm Shitomi Griswold. JapanCast.net is your place to go for all things Japan. Whether you're a businessman on his first trip to Japan, or you're a college student who just learned how to yell, Kanpai! at your <laughs> local <laughs> sake bar. JapanCast.net is your place to go. So we're back. Yeah. Um, got a lot to cover this episode. Mm. And... Um, I think we'll get right into the news, so here's uh, some news from Japan. Okay, so this week, uh, AFP News reported that the largest bluefin tuna caught since 1986 was sold for 3.2 million yen. Hmm. How much is going be? In US? Uh, U.S. dollars, that's thirty-six thousand seven hundred dollars for tuna. Uh, mm. It weighed four hundred and forty-five kilograms, which <laughs> is nine hundred and eighty-one pounds yeah. for a tuna. Wow! Um, some stuff I found out: Japan consumes three quarters of all the bluefin tuna in the world. Mm. At a high-end Tokyo mm. restaurant. The, let me see if I can, uh, Otoro, which is the... Otoro. Otoro. Mm-hmm. The fatty underbelly of the bluefin tuna oh, can cost yeah. 2,000 yen, which is about $22 mm-hmm. uh, US. It's like a butter melt in your mouth. Oh, really? Yeah. So this was sold at the Tsukiji. I keep wanting to say Tsujiki. Tsukiji? <laughs> Tsukiji Fish Market, which is the largest fish market in the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, it handles... Roughly 2,000 metric tons of seafood a day and employs more than 60,000 people. It's fun place to go. Well, and that's what I say. If you have a fish fetish and you really <laughs> want to go there, they're only open for tourists from 5 a.m. until 6.15 a.m. And because it had become so popular and so crowded, they now only oh, allow yeah. 140 tourists at a time. Mm. So if you want to go, you better get there early. Yeah, it's not usual tourist um, spot. No, not at all. Not everybody knows. So, so a cool place to go. All right, that is news from Japan. Up next, we have the Japan Cast Culture Corner. So this week in the Culture Corner, we I thought we'd talk about um, something that you, you thought was a little strange when you moved here. Mm. And it's loyalty to your company. And how that discussion came about between us was um, returning things to a store and also if a store doesn't have an item, asking where else you might buy it. Here in America, um, recently I was looking for a a car part Mm. and we were in a store and they didn't have it. And I asked, do you know anybody else around here who might carry that part? Mm. They don't think anything of it. Um, same thing about returning an item. You buy something and you have usually, I think, 30 days uh, to bring it back mm-hmm. and get your money back. It's no big deal. What What's in Japan? How does that work? Can you just... Yes, I think if you have a receipt and mm-hmm. within certain days, I think you can still return it. But... Mm, you don't get very... You're not welcome <laughs> to return it. You know, the employee might, you know... I don't know. <laughs> get upset or get offended even. And why? Why would because somebody? Because they feel like they are part of the company. You know, they they just their loyalty to their company. They are so um, devoted to work there. And um, I don't know. It's, I think it's just different mentality. Hmm. Um, so that's why. Uh, it's not common for us to ask if you can't find, you know, an item in this store. You really, you never ask the 
employer there. You know, where else can I get this? It's kind of offensive. I see. So that's interesting. So yeah. So when I first, you know, saw you asking the、mm-hmm. question, you know, where, where else can I get? Someone like, no, <laughs> that's no, 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 that's rude. You know? Yeah, that's interesting. So、yeah. something to to note if you are going to be going to Japan as an exchange student、mm-hmm. or、um, you know mission work、yeah. or anything like that, if you're going to be living in Japan for a while, be aware it's、yeah. not very common, and, and you very common. would probably upset people if you went into a store and asked, "Where else could I find this?"、Mm-hmm. So、yeah. definitely something to keep in mind.、Uh, For your trip right, to Japan.、Yeah. All right. So, what do we have up next? Ah, this week's phrase or idiom. Let's get on to that. So, what do we have for our phrase or useful phrase? Idiom.、Hi. It's a phrase. Okay.、Hi. This week's useful phrase is. とりあえずこれでいいよ。とりあえずこれでいいよ。とりあえず、とりあえず means、uh, for the time being、mm-hmm. or for now. And これ means this. And いい means good or okay. So とりあえずこれでいいよ means this is fine. This is okay for the time being. Okay. Hi. So if you want to make this phrase、uh, polite, you can say とりあえずこれでいいですよ So let's practice. 聞いて繰り返してください Please listen and repeat. とりあえずとりあえずこれでいいよこれでいいよ。とりあえずこれでいいよ。とりあえずこれでいいよ。とりあえずこれでいいよ。means this is fine for the time being. Great, that's a useful phrase. Okay, and now it's time to thank our sponsors this week.、Uh, Audible.com. Has been our first and only sponsor. For now. <laughs>、yes. um, they're giving away a 14-day trial membership,、mm. but you need to go to audiblepodcast.com/japancast to sign up. I wanted to. Some people had some questions, so I wanted to to、um, before giving my pick this week,、uh, explain a couple of things.、Uh, it is a 14-day free trial, and you can cancel it at any time. Right. You are not obligated to、yeah. pay anything.、Um, in fact, little secret here:、mm. a while ago, I actually signed up from another podcaster,、um, Leo Laporte, through his code. Signed up. I mean, this is probably four years ago. Yeah. Did the trial, got my free book, and I canceled, and they didn't charge me anything.、Mm. But then I, I ended up. I really like audio books,、mm-hmm. so I ended up signing up again, and now I've been a gold member for a few years. And I just I really like it, but you can cancel at any time.、Mm-hmm. The second thing that、uh, came up was, this is not a rental. It's not like Netflix or where you get a movie and then you have to send it back. These are yours forever. You get them and you get to keep them. So you, it's not a rental. It's not like a library.、Mm-hmm. You pay a monthly fee when you join if you decide to stay, but you get to keep the stuff forever. So. That's why I was encouraging you. Hey, do the 14-day free trial because you can get a Pimsleur or one of the other Learn Japanese for free. And if you decide you're not interested in it, you cancel. But you get to keep it. Yeah. You, if you have a long commute, you know. Yeah, I used to have an hour and a half commute to Boston、mm-hmm. when I lived on the East Coast, and I listened to Pimsleur every day. Yeah. To work and back home every day. So,、uh, the other thing. Is that even though it's on the internet and you download it, you can burn them to CD to listen in your car. Right. So it's not only an iPod or Zune or you know iPad or anything like that. You can burn it to CD and put it in your car. So 
Um, there's some stuff that came up. There was some confusion on whether or not you could just download and listen to it on your computer or your iPod. Mm -hmm. But no, you can burn it to CD and you keep it forever. So then I have my pick this week. Um, I have not uh, read this or listened to this book, but it sounded really interesting. It's uh, Kira Kira by Cynthia Kadohata. And it won the 2005 Newbery Medal for the most distinguished children's book. Now, even though it won for children's book, from the reviews I read, it's not for younger kids. This is a middle school and up book. It's about a family that lives in a Japanese community in Iowa, which I had no idea there was a Japanese <laughs> community in Iowa. <laughs> and they have to move to the deep, deep south part of Georgia. Mm. And the younger sister wonders, why did people stop and stare at us? Why are they looking at us? It goes through that kind of subject. And also um, goes into a, a really tragic family illness and how they deal with it. And the main character tries to help them look for the kira kira in the future. Can you say explain what kira kira? Kira kira? Mm -hmm. Kira kira is a twinkle? Twinkle. twinkle? So like the, the bright. The sound of, yeah shiny so she's trying to get you get the people in her life to look for the bright shiny things in the future so got really good reviews and i thought you guys might like it so that's my pick this week for uh again uh audiblepodcast.com slash japancast and next up we have uh this week's vocabulary and it is something i think you guys especially long-time listeners will be happy to see so let's move on to that <laughs> 